Did you know trees have been found growing inside of people's lungs? Hello, my name is Faiz and I'm here to present my dissertation proposal which is titled Easy Hydrophonics. So what's with the scary news articles earlier? Well, I wanted to show that plants can grow even without soil. And this is what hydrophonics is all about. The plant is suspended in a liquid solution containing all the necessary nutrients. This allows the plants to grow closer to each other, making it very space efficient. And although you can't plant trees or big plants with hydrophonics, your yield is usually much better than normal gardening. And this is a big advantage in places where land space is a premium. And with social distancing being a big thing now, what better time to take up gardening, right? You get to have something relaxing to do, can increase your soil sufficiency, and help the environment by planting more <coughs> trees. But having a home garden that is big enough to be useful in Brunei is difficult for most people. On average, homeowners own 0.14 acres of land, and most of that space is covered up by the house, driveway, and garage. What's left is pretty much this. So having a garden that doesn't need much space would make a home garden viable. And even on a national level, Brunei only has 0.4% of its land opened up for agriculture. This leads to my project. Is it possible to automate the labor-intensive parts of hydrophonics? Easy Hydrophonics is a robot that will be maintaining the water conditions of a hydrophonic setup, namely the water pH, the electrolyte concentration, which is how much fertilizer is in the water, and maintaining the water levels. The ultimate aim of Easy Hydrophonics is to create a commercially viable product which will ultimately promote hydrophonics in Brunei. I'm hoping to achieve this by making hydrophonics easier and more accessible to Bruneian farmers by making Easy Hydrophonics easy to use and cheap. For my dissertation project, my objectives are to design the robot, to build the robot and website and Android app which controls the robot, and finally to test the system by growing cucumbers. In order to ensure the project stays on track, I will be setting the following scopes. I'm using Arduino because it's fairly easy to obtain and there's a lot of documentation to help guide my building and programming. I'm using Unity 3D because Unity has the potential of building the app in iOS and it's also a powerful engine that allows for easier graphics and 3D modeling. And finally, I'll be using ASP.NET MVC5, which is the next gen of what we've learned in previous years. Although I plan to borrow the rooftop of Laksmana College, this might need to be changed to my own garage. This will have the added benefit of demonstrating that hydrophonics can be performed at home. I will be using a 1 meter cube vat of water as a testing bed, as this is a fair size to have in a typical household. And I will be planting cucumbers for testing, as this is a fast growing plant and doesn't require a greenhouse environment. Automating hydrophonics is not a new concept. Such a famous system is called Viscon and is fully automated. This system controls everything but cost millions of US dollars and took many years to develop. On a smaller scale is the Hydrobot. This Kickstarter is similar to Easy Hydrophonics. However, each of these units costs between 600 to 900 US dollars, which is still quite pricey. Hydrobot seems to have been developed in less than a year. Therefore, it should be possible to complete my project within the time frame of 8 months. A big concern is whether or not the system would actually be useful. A specialist says that it is sufficient. Currently in Brunei, industrial hydrophonic farmers maintain water conditions manually, which is labor heavy. Thus, by using my system, this burden can be reduced and they are able to expand their operations. And as mentioned earlier, although there are several systems already for automating hydrophonics, they are quite expensive. One would expect such a system could be acquired cheaply from China, but unfortunately I couldn't find anything online. As 8 months is rather short for a project of this size, I am electing to use an agile approach. The project will be divided into 10 major sprints corresponding to the following milestones. Here is the projected timeline. The estimated project duration is 30 weeks. I should note here that each sprint is expected to last 2 to 3 weeks, except for testing, which takes up to 15 weeks. The main limitation I predict are the time constraints, monetary constraints, and technical constraints. As testing depends on growing actual crops, this might take longer than expected and would affect the final testing sprint. And since I'm working alone and have no prior experience, I might take more time than expected. And finally, financially. I will not be able to afford professional-grade materials. 
In conclusion, although there are several limitations, having to work under budget can be seen as an advantage as the system is meant to be cheap, and with the potential of hydrophonics in Brunei, it is quite practical and would be in demand. For further queries, please contact me via MS Teams. And thank you for listening.